Have you received GST vouchers before? You mean the ones that magically appear in my bank account? 大家好,我是Yi-Ting, your host for this series. I'm quite worried about my personal finance. Not sure what other you think about this, but let's find out from them. So how much do you spend every month? Thousand plus to two. Five hundred to six hundred dollars. Six to seven hundred. Less than three hundred. One point two k. Less than fifty dollars. Fifty dollars per month, ah? You got eat or not? Yeah, at home, ah. My mother got cook. What do you spend this money on? It's on food, traveling, transport, groceries, skincare, makeup, household items, shopping, and food. Four hundred dollars on food. Three hundred dollars on clothing and going out with friends. Food and transport. Transportation. And do you actually budget how much you want to spend every month? No. I've been trying. I don't list it down, but then I do budget it in my mind. Usually don't end up exceeding the amount. Nah. I would use this app called Add to My List. It usually helps me to balance out how much I spend for the month. You don't spend on groceries, you don't go outside and meet your friends or eat outside. My mother will do that. Um, not really, because my parents normally give me my allowance, so from there I know how much I need to spend. So I actually do kind of budget, like I just put like some money in my savings, like ah, for rainy okay. days. Then do you know that actually our government also has to do budget planning like how we plan our personal finances? No. No, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, yes. Oh yeah, I do. I think I saw a lot on the news, the GST, voucher, CDC. The government give vouchers, yeah, that's all I know. Accurate though, the government is actually rolling out some benefits for use. So you'll see stuff like your CDC vouchers, GST vouchers, and as Life SG credits, EduSafe top ups, and ITE graduate awards. And also, do you know that our government is also investing our money into various industries like education, artificial intelligence to enhance our lives, cyber security, even the art sector, and also making our internet broadband speed 10 times faster than what it is now. Have you heard of the CDC vouchers? Uh, yes, I heard before. Where and how do you spend it on? Hawkers, sometimes supermarket. Yeah, my household has. They spend it on like groceries. Yes, I use it before. Yes, I also don't know. I just helped my mother collect the voucher. His mother does the cooking, so she used on groceries. Yeah, I think so. Do you know how much each household will receive for CDC vouchers? Is it A, $200, B, $300, C, $500, or D, $600? $200. Hey, come on. Our government is way more generous than that. Either B or C. Yeah, I, think. I mean, if it's D, then it's great, lah. But I think it's B. Mm. C, five hundred dollars. Six hundred dollars. Six hundred dollars. <laughs> Correct. It's actually D, six hundred dollars. <laughs> it's a lot of money, right? That's pretty helpful yeah. on top of salary every month. Another good news is that if you're above 21 years old and your accessible income does not exceed $34,000, you can be eligible for GST voucher. Oh, I don't see have you received GST vouchers before? You mean the ones that magically appear in my bank account? Yes. So the government is actually dispersing $450 up to $850 depending on your income level. Based on the youth sentiment poll from 2021 to 2023 done by National Youth Council, cost of living is a top concern that youth believe needs to be addressed. So based on all this support given by the government, how else do you think youth can be part of the conversation on cost of living? I'll give you four options. A. Complain on social media. B. Fill up forums at community centres. C. Co-create policies with the government. Or D. Just deal with it lah. I will complain everything on the social media. <laughs> just deal with it lah. Okay, because like, nowadays, the generation, everything is all social media. <laughs> C. 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 Have connection with government huh? C. Because we're the ones who like, the government is trying to help. And if we don't try to help ourselves, we won't be helped as much. The answer is absolutely correct. It's C, co-create policies with the government. You can actually work with the government through the youth panel and initiative by National Youth Council. So have you heard about this? Uh, no, I haven't before. No. <laughs> yeah, I heard about it. Sounds familiar. I think I heard it from a friend. I have. I've seen it online. So you can actually be involved in engagement and discussions with the government. And through that, you can also learn more about what the government does and how these different policies impact Singapore. So the inaugural youth panel has four panels. Life hacks, job hacks, tech hacks and green hacks. For instance, life hack panels will focus on financial literacy of youths in areas such as healthcare, housing and low-wage workers. They hope to elevate cost of living concerns through improved financial literacy. So, which area are you keen to dive into? Housing, because I'm concerned about the affordability of the housing in the future. Of course, low-wage workers, because they understand the hardship of poverty. They really will benefit more. More on healthcare. Nowadays, our parents, when they are getting old, right, it's very difficult to know what is their needs in the future. And it's more harder for us to have kids as well as take care of our parents. Definitely healthcare. Why? Because I'm studying medicine. Oh, we have a doctor! <laughs> There's a lot of like people who can't really afford healthcare, especially in like specialized area. 
Alrighty, seems like most of the youths that I met today are open to the forthcoming support of Budget 2024. And it's heartwarming to know that some of them are even interested to contribute their ideas to help our society better manage with cost of living. I hope that this episode has been insightful for all you viewers and I agree ya, as long as you work hard in upgrading yourself and manage your finances properly, you can be ready for anything. To find out more about Youth Panel and its progress, visit this link. See you in the next episode. Bye!